Right then. So technically second vid, second lesson, but actually fourth vid, first lesson. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, let's have a look at this then. So example two. So it says a smooth bead is threaded on a light and extensible string. The end of the strings are attached to two fixed points X and Z on the, on the same horizontal. The bead is held in equilibrium by a horizontal force of eight, magnet, eight newtons acting parallel. The bead Y is vertically below X and the angle is 30. Find the tension in the string. Right, now then, it's a single string. If it's a single string, the tensions are the same. So if you imagine, uh, I've got the weight of this bead, mg, pulling down. So I've got tension that's acting against it. I've got the pull of the 8 newtons pulling to the left. So I've got tension acting against it, keeping it all taut. Right, so I want the tension in the string then. So, if I look at this kind of Z angle thing going on here, that there is 30 degrees. So this here would be T cos 30, going that way. That would be T sine 30, going up. And if I just do like up minus down is zero. So if I look, uh, let's have a look, so vertically, so a lot of the time, all I'm doing is creating equations and seeing what I can get out of it. So if I look at up minus down is equal to zero. So up is the t, and it's the t sine 30. And down is its weight, which is mg, minus mg. And that's equal to zero. Now I can take the t out as a factor, and I've got one plus sine 30. Minus mg is zero. Now, they've got the weight of it. They say W for weight. I've put MG because it gets you used to using MG. But the weight is MG. Right, so I've got that as an equation. So let's have a look horizontally then now. Because all I'm doing is setting up two, two equations and solving. So I'm going to say left minus right is equal to zero. Using, this is using F equals MA again. And A is zero. So left is the 8 newtons. Right is the t cos 30, and that's equal to zero. So that kind of tells me that if I take the t cos 30 over, that 8 over cos 30 is my tension, which the completed pack says is 9.24 newtons. So then now I can sub that back in, because if I take the mg over the weight, t1 plus sine 30 is equal to mg, which is my weight, so 9.24 times 1 plus sine 30, if you can read that, is my weight, which roughly works out as 13.9 newtons for my weight there. So I've actually worked out part b as well. Just by setting up equations, but it's so nice. All I'm doing is just setting up equations for each kind of direction, up, down, left, right, or parallel and perpendicular. There's another example here, so I'll stop the vid and do it on another one. But I've waffled a bit, and it's still less than four minutes. Right, bye-bye.